Hello everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence asking forgiveness of my sins so my prayer can enter your holy throne. Thank you, Lord, for this day that you have given us. Thank you for this week that we have started. Thank you for your companion and communion throughout our lives. Thank you for walking with us, Lord. Thank you for your direction. Thank you for your correction. Father, help us to understand the devotional that you have in store for us today. Help us, Father God, to open up our minds, our eyes, and our ears for what you have, the message you have for us. Father, help us to focus our attention on the things that are unseen, our faith, our hope, our love, mercy, compassion. Help us to grab hold of the things that are more important in our lives. Help us to choose our battles wisely, when to speak, when to remain silent, when to act, and when to stand still. Father, there is a time for everything. Give us the discernment to know what time is appropriate for which thing, in which thing you are calling us to do, and give us the strength and the courage to do it. In your name I pray, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Take Care of Your Conversations. It was written by Juan Daniel de la Vega and translated by Nelson Berries. Our biblical base comes from Proverbs 18, verse 21. So says the word of God. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. The Apostle Paul exhorts us to eradicate from our lives all those sins that we can commit with our conversation. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths. Ephesians 4.29 What is Paul referring to when he speaks of unwholesome talk? First of all, he is talking about obscene and vulgar conversations. Paul mentions tricksters. This is a difficult word to translate adequately. The New American Bible translated as Meridian profanity can refer to vulgar or body jokes. Psalm 68 verses 1 through 10 is a comment usually related to unseemly matters. Paul also mentions foolishness, and that word encompasses all idle talk that leads nowhere. We can literally translate it to talking nonsense, which usually leads to indecent topics that feed the flesh. The apostle, moreover, refers to dishonest words, and this expression was used in those days to refer to shameful, obscene, or indecent language. Words do not remain mere words, but rather contaminate the heart and corrupt the soul. Therefore, take care of your conversations. Amen. Brothers and sisters, what a good reminder of the way that we should carry ourselves in our words. We must be very careful of the words that come out of our mouth. First of all, the words that come out of our mouth reflect what is in our heart. And second of all, we are a living testimony. If we have nonsense coming out of our mouths, vulgar and nasty jokes, if we have profane and unwholesome talk coming out of our mouths, we are a living testimony. What testimony are we sharing with those around us if out of our mouth, are coming nasty and vulgar things. My brothers and sisters, we have to shine the light of Jesus Christ. And one of the ways that we can do that is to make sure the things that we speak, the things that we say are honest, true, encouraging, right, admirable, trustworthy. This will go a long way of being the testimony that God wants us to be. These things will go a long way in opening up somebody else's eyes to the gospel of Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, be careful of your conversations. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory.
Amen. What a beautiful song. And now we invite you, my brothers and sisters, to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And did you know you can also find previous messages that have been given in English, previous English services, and songs and hymns from our various English-speaking congregations, all on our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.